Hey guys, it's Miss Jillian. So today I'm gonna show you a really fun way to make ice cream at home. So you're only going to need five ingredients and those five ingredients are sugar, half and half, salt, vanilla, and ice. And the tools that you're going to need are Ziploc bags, a small one, and a large one. And you're also gonna want some measuring cups to help you measure out each ingredient. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need again and the measurements that you're going to need for it. One cup of half and half, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, one tablespoon of sugar, ice, and a quarter cup of salt. So we're gonna be pouring most of our ingredients into the small Ziploc bag. So what I did was I double bagged it. So I have a, one bag inside the other because it's just a little easier to keep everything inside if you double bag it. There's no chance that it's going to rip or, um, or open on itself. So I have two bags. And the first thing we're gonna put in is one cup of half and half. So I'm gonna get my measuring cup and my half and half. I'm gonna measure one cup. Here we go. And we're gonna pour it into our Ziploc bag. So now we have our one cup of half and half in our Ziploc bag. So the next thing we're going to add is our vanilla and we need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. So here's my one teaspoon, here's my half teaspoon. One teaspoon. Now we're done with the vanilla. So now the last thing we're gonna add to our small Ziploc bag is sugar. And we need one tablespoon of sugar. So here's my one tablespoon. Let's get one tablespoon of sugar. There we go. Seal my sugar back up. And now we're gonna seal the bag, or bags, because I use two. Make sure you seal it so that most of the air is out. So since I have two bags, I have to seal the inside one first. And then the outside one. Make sure you seal it really well because we don't want it going splashing all over the place. Okay, so now our three ingredients are in our sealed small Ziploc bag. So now we can put our small Ziploc bag to the side. We're gonna get our large Ziploc bag and we're gonna fill it about halfway with ice. So. Okay. so that's a little bit. I need a little bit more ice. So I got a little bit more ice. So now my bag is about halfway full of ice. 
So now we're gonna add a quarter cup of salt. So here's my quarter cup. Here's my salt. We're gonna measure out. If you have coarse salt, it's probably a little better. This is the only kind of salt that I have. But they say that the thicker the salt is, the better it will turn out. Here we go. My quarter cup of salt goes in the bag with the ice. Now we have used all of our ingredients. So let's see what the next step is. So now the next step is we're going to put our small bag into our large bag. Make sure some of the salt is on top. If you have extra ice, you can put some more in the bag. I'm just gonna move my ice on top. And then we're gonna seal the large bag. There we go, nice and sealed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake it for six minutes. You might wanna use some gloves or some oven mitts because by adding salt, to our ice, it makes the ice extra cold. So this will just keep your hands nice and warm. But we're gonna shake it for six minutes. So I will shake it for six minutes and I will come back and I will show you what it looks like. So it's been six minutes. You really get a nice arm workout when you shake it for six minutes. But when you're done shaking it, when six minutes is up, take the small bag out of the larger bag and rinse it off because it might have some salt on it. And when you're done with that, open it carefully. There we go. And then you're gonna to wanna to use a spoon just to mix it around a little bit. It might be icy at first. So the spoon will help soften it up. So I'm gonna scoop a little bit out and show you what it looks like now. And there's my ice cream. If you wanna add some more of any ingredient like sugar or vanilla um, to give it a better consistency, you can. It's all up to you. I kinda of like this. Maybe you could throw it in the freezer or the fridge for a little bit. But when you do open it, try to make sure you don't get any salt from the outside of the bag, inside of the bag, because then your ice cream is gonna be salty. So let's give it a taste. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. Um, you can look up how to make different flavors. I'm sure there are ways to do it. Vanilla will be the easiest, but Enjoy, you can take this out, add it to a bit, add it to a bowl, add some sprinkles, add some whipped cream, add some hot fudge. Whatever you like. So enjoy your ice cream. I hope it cools you down on these hot summer days. Bye.